Warhammer 40,000 Dawn of War 2 Chaos Rising. I'm only going to say the full title to this expansion once, since it is such a mouthful. Chaos Rising is the full-fledged expansion to the original Dawn of War 2 by Relic and THQ. To grease your palms a bit, I'll let you know what I enjoy about the Dawn of War games and then go into an overview of what Chaos Rising provides for you. Dawn of War 2 is a real-time strategy game set in the Warhammer 40k universe that is a RTS at its core. The original game featured a full-length cooperative campaign and a diverse multiplayer experience with four very different factions to play with, each having multiple heroes to choose from. Relic has the best strategy mechanics and innovates in every title they have produced in this genre. What they have done with this game is combine the addictive RPG elements of experience and loot to their RTS formula. What you are left with is an immersive hybrid game that latches its teeth in and never lets go. So what does the Chaos Rising expansion provide you with? Well it builds on the success of Dawn of War 2 and adds in the evil Chaos Space Marines who are hell bent on destroying the worlds from the previous Dawn of War. The heroes that you can play as for this faction are the Chaos Warlord, the Plague Bearer, and the Chaos Sorcerer. And their units range from Chaos Space Marines all the way up to giant powerful demons. You also get a full-fledged co-op campaign that you can battle with solo or with a friend. The campaign is a little on the short side, but it's definitely well worth the price. Your hero level cap has also been raised to level 30, and there's a ton of new loot and war gear that you can pick up for each of your heroes. The Last Stand game mode also is provided with a couple upgrades of two more playable heroes. The Chaos Warlord and the Hive Tyrant join the ranks, so you and two other friends can take on the hordes and waves of enemies in the Last Stand mode, if you're not really into the uh, competitive multiplayer or if you finished with the campaign. The cooperative aspects of the game are something to be desired, as Relic gives you not only a full-length cooperative campaign, the Last Stand mode, but a diverse multiplayer mode where you can go at it with one versus one, or you can team up with two of your buddies and go on with two versus two or three versus three. With each faction being so different and the updates coming to every faction, not just the Chaos Space Marines, there's an endless amount of gameplay here for you and your friends. Chaos Rising is definitely a complete cooperative package and well worth $30. So who is this game for? Well, if you bought the first Dawn of War 2, you probably already own this. But if you're looking for another great real-time strategy game, I would definitely recommend this, even if you don't know anything about the Warhammer universe. I went into this blindly last year, only after seeing some gameplay, and I never regretted it. And with Chaos Rising, this just gives me more bank for my buck. And I definitely see Dawn of War 2 Chaos Rising as the true evolution of the real-time strategy genre. So suit up, grab your chainsaw bolter, and start kicking some chaos butt.